Hi there, this is Matt from Matt Jellymore's Fishing. I'd like you to just, you know what, grab a cup of coffee, sit down, relax, and we'll talk about lead core line fishing. Um, this is really kind of a simple thing once you understand it, but I'm going to try to go through the real basics of it, and uh, hopefully that'll help you out. First of all, let's talk about uh, normal mono. Right, because if we have a lure, an example here might be a flicker shad number nine, or we have a flicker shad number five, we have to know just how far that bait dives at a certain length. So, a good example is the flicker shad number nine. And by the way, let me explain this and what's going on. I've got a boat, I've got the water level set up for you. I have 7 feet down, 14 feet down, 21 feet down, and 28 foot down, just to give you an idea of water levels, right, and going down into the water column. And I've got two fish, one at 17 feet and one at 27 feet. And so I want to kind of show you what's a great use for lead core, how we can do it, and really how to think about it. So a quick example here is that if we want to get down to that 17 foot using just mono, right? What's gonna happen is to get there, we're gonna need to have 135 feet out. That's 135 feet of mono line. We'll get a uh, number nine flicker shed right down to that 17 feet. Well, that's great, but what if we want to use a flicker shad number five? Well, the max depth, even at 140, 147 feet out, at 147 feet out, a number five flicker shad will only go down nine feet. So what we need to be able to do is to work with how the baits naturally dive and be able to get them down to those fish that we want. One of the more important things, or one of the most important things, or just one of the things, <laughs> having to do with lead core line is understanding leader length, okay? And what do we mean? Well, it's not so much what we mean, but leader length is going to say just how far down or how far we're going to allow, allow, there's a key word there, we're going to allow our baits to drop, okay? So we see right here with 137 feet on a flicker shad 9, it's going to go down to 17 feet. With 147 feet of a flicker shad 5, it's, it's going to go down 9 feet. So is there a way to control this so that when we're out there lead core fishing that we know exactly where that bait is? And the answer to that is yes. Um, there'll be two factors. One's going to be leader length, and let me show you that. So there's some, by the way, I didn't just come up with these numbers. Um, if you have a chance, go get the Precision Trolling app. You can download it on your phone, um, pay for the subscriptions, and it's going to give you all of these depths that I'm talking about, including with lead core, um, the 52 method, 10-pound uh, XT line. That's uh, really an awesome, awesome resource for us as fishermen. And I have that app loaded, and I bring it out on the boat. So these aren't just random, um, random links. But there is some things to know. If I if my leader length is six feet, now that's important, is six feet long. And this doesn't matter if it's if we're running mono, if we're running fire line, because at times those two things can change on you the depth. From a flicker nine all the way down to a flicker five it drops two feet, just two feet. What's happening is, is as your lure is trying to drop, because of the bill and the angle, 
it can only drop so far having a six foot line and this happens to be two foot for almost every lure. Now once again double check on that but at least for the Flicker 9's all the way down to the Flicker 5's it's two feet whether you're running fire line or mono. You take that leader to ten foot now you're giving, you're giving each of the baits a little more flexibility to move around here. So for mono, it goes down, the bait will, will drive three feet. And for fire line, it'll go down four feet. Still very, very manageable with the math that we're about to do. Now a lot of people run 25 foot leaders and that really allows those baits to do really what they are naturally designed. So if you're running 25 feet, your lure is going to drop 7 feet for mono and 8 feet for fire line, but you really got to be careful here because some of the baits like one of the one of the ones that I use is a uh, a reef runner, an 800 reef runner. And with an 800 reef runner, that's going to run 10 feet down or 11 feet down uh, with your 25 foot leader and either mono or fire line. So what we're basically going to show you here is if I have a, a 6 foot leader or a 10 foot leader, I'll go off the 10 foot leader for today. How do I get to those fish? So basically what we need to do and is we need to drop the start point of when the bait drops. So if we know with a 10 foot leader, we are going to, the bait is going to be able to drop by 3 feet, then we need to get in to 14 feet as a start point. And that's really a good way to think about lead core. Now I'm referencing lead core advanced suffix. Um, 832 which has a depth rate of for every color it goes down or drops that start point down seven feet now there's a couple things you need to know you hear a lot of people talk about well I was you know uh, 120 feet uh, on my line counter right we almost always or always use a line counter to do lead core the reason they're saying 120 feet is because they have 120 feet of lead down in the water which calculates out to four colors. So 30 feet per color, every color goes down seven feet with advanced suffix, right? Standard suffix only drops down about five feet. So whatever lead you're going to use, you want to find out what is the depth rate per color. So 30 feet. Now that's kind of nice because if we need to go down just three and a half feet, then we're going to go by our line counter and just let out 15 feet of lead core. So it becomes really easy math on how to get directly to those fish. Now in this case, what I need to do is I need to get the start point, and this is the lead, and I need to get it down 14 feet because 14 plus 3 is 17, right? What I'm going to do is I'm going to let out two colors because remember every color drops down seven feet. You can also think of it as I'm going, to leave, I'm going to let out 60 feet of lead. Now when we count lead we're not talking out of the water. It's from the water line, right? How much lead is in the water determines how much it brings it down. Kind of like a sinker. So it has to be in the water. You take that plus how much your, your bait dives to get yourself right on those fish. If we're going to go down to 28 or 27 foot, or we have a 20, uh, we have a fish at 27 feet, all we're simply going to do is we're going to now let out three colors, right? 90 feet of lead, because three colors is going to give us a start point of 20, 21 feet we have to go down to 27 feet, right? So how in the world do we get there? Well, three feet of this brings us to 24 feet. 
That that is our leader length, right? A ten foot leader length, and my bait is going to drop it down three feet. So I need to make up twenty four feet, and I'm at twenty one. So how do I do that? I'm going to let out three colors, and then pretty close to a half a color, which is fifteen feet. So those of you really good at math, you're talking one hundred and five feet of lead, and with one hundred and five feet of lead. You're going to get yourself right on those fish. And that is so important when we're out there fishing. Is if the fish are suspended with lead core, we can hit it. Now, if you're running into a scenario where you need to get 7 feet down, right? If you look at the leader lengths, and you remember, 6 foot goes down 2 feet. So I have 5 feet plus the 2 to get to the 7 feet. How do we do that? I always have a reel... In, in my case, loaded up with standard suffix, right? Standard suffix only drops five feet. So I'll use this, I'll bring out one color, and I'll use a six foot leader. Because remember, six foot leader, two feet. I go right along the top of those weed beds, and I'm able to get those suspended fish that are just above there. So hopefully this has helped. Um, like I say, think of lead as getting it down, your leader length, Plus your lure is your drop after that. Um, once you get used to this, it's very, very simple. Make sure that when you're doing this, that you have a pole that you're very, very comfortable with. I like to have immediate or moder moderate action so that when that fish, fish strikes, if it takes off, that tip of that pole can react. So I'm not going to lose those fish. I'm not going to rip the fish, uh, rip, rip the hook out of uh, the mouth of the fish. And if that fish happens to surge, that pole can adjust and it will, uh, it will keep that fish on the line. The other thing to really watch, and, and lead core isn't something that you just set it and forget it. Um, you're going at about two and a half miles an hour, but you need to pay attention to those tips. And the reason why is you never know if you have a small fish that's just going to make it so that you cannot see that wobble. And just like a good friend of mine uh, from the Dakota said, everything about this walleye and the, the flicker shads and those types of baits it's all about the wobble so pay attention to those poles if it stops or or it even has a little tension on it bring that one up it only takes seconds to put it back down some of the things you can do is you can use multiple poles like for on a river um, where you're using a length of six six and another one maybe at eight or twelve feet another good thing to do is uh, with the offshore planter boards and using the right clip you can actually use it on lead core, and that way you can have a bigger spread. So, hopefully that's helped. Hopefully I got you through that cup of coffee, and you have a great day.